Well, a couple of weeks ago, we highlighted the first ever Terry Fox run here in Denver. And thanks to your generosity, we have an exciting update. Karen Rosnick, one of the organizers, is back with us. First, Karen, did you know that true or false question? I didn't I know that. I did not know. So we have <laughs> less gravity in Canada. Who knew? So does that mean that people float? May, uh, you tell me. I don't, I don't know. I always say I feel more grounded <laughs> when I come home, but maybe not. <laughs> I'm misleading. Fascinating. Oh, my gosh. Well, Karen, I have to ask, how yeah. did the run go? How did everything go for you? It was fantastic. We couldn't have asked for better weather. We had about almost 60 people show up nice. for a first run. And just to let your viewers know wow. um, who Terry Fox was. So uh, he embarked on this amazing run across Canada in 1980. Wow. He had lost his leg to bone cancer, so he was running on a prosthetic leg. Wow. He made it halfway through about 330, uh, sorry, 3,300 miles. Oh, wow. But unfortunately, his cancer had returned, so he had to stop the run. But shortly after, Canadians took up the cause and started their own Terry Fox runs. Yeah for cancer research. They happen all over Canada, all over the world, and now here in Denver. Oh my goodness, incredible. Well, that is so amazing. So why did this run, uh, do you think this run resonates with so many people, whether it's people in Canada or here? Yeah, exactly. I think um, I was touched by cancer. Unfortunately, when I was 18, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. That was successfully cured with radiation therapy, but then that same radiation therapy likely caused a tumor on my neck. Oh my gosh. So I was diagnosed with that last year, but then was treated here at the University of Colorado and shoots Cancer Center. I had a wonderful team. So I think cancer just affects everyone, whether it's yourself, whether it's somebody you know or love. So this run, we raised over $6,000. Wow. For the University of Colorado Cancer Center. Okay. And I met people at the run who or cancer survivors themselves uh, who were dedicating their run to a family member or a friend yeah. who was touched by cancer. So I think it just touches people's hearts. And then Terry's story is just so inspiring. You know, this kid who was like 20 years old embarking on this run. Yes. I mean, he had nothing behind him other than his sheer determination. He didn't have sponsorship. Wow. He just wanted $1 from every Canadian. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And I have to ask our director, Moss, if he can pop that po photo back up again, because this is something that is so sweet that Karen was just sharing. Oh, there Tell she me is. about this, because this is yes. too cute. <laughs> so this is my niece, Naomi. Yeah. So she's in Canada in Winnipeg, in my hometown. She did a Terry Fox run through her school, oh, and Naomi man. dedicated her run to Aunt Karen. Oh. So I was very touched. Thank you so much, Naomi, for running for me and for oh. everyone. So that just shows you the reach that these runs have. Yeah, she's a cutie, I too. Know. Oh, my goodness. Well, I want to talk about the T-shirts. Yes. You're wearing one now. We have one next to you as well. These are extra special. Yes. Can you tell me why? It has a celebrity connection, too. Exactly. <laughs> so these are, every year, Terry Fox runs, and they put out a new T-shirt. So this yeah. one was actually designed by Ryan Reynolds. Woo! The actor, there the Canadian go. actor. There Look he is, him. sporting his long sleeve <laughs> version. So he came up with this idea. So the theme was Dear Terry. Yeah. So he wanted Canadians just to basically write messages of thanks, of appreciation to Terry. So on the back of the T-shirt, which we have here on the couch next to me, yeah. there are actual letters from people thanking Terry for running, for inspiring them. Um, there's here, you make me want to be a better person. Oh, my God. So, and there's English and French, of course, because wow. we're a bilingual country. Yes. So these t-shirts are available on the terryfox.org site. Okay. But I think we're going to maybe give away one at the end of the yes, year. Yes, <laughs> we might be doing that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, amazing. Well, quickly, too, yeah. another run next year. Can we expect it? Yes. So yes. this was our inaugural run. We just wanted to get it off the ground to see, you know, were there, was there going to be any interest? Right. Would we raise maybe a couple of hundred dollars for cancer research? So like I said, more than $6,000 raised right here in Colorado. Amazing. So definitely run number two is, we're starting planning right now. On the so, horizon. Yes. Oh, Karen, thank you so much. And hey, she teased it, guys. We're gonna tell you about this. To donate now or for more information on the next run, head to CanadaColorado.com. And we also have one of those Terry Fox run shirts to give away, like Karen said. So to enter to win, you have to answer this Canadian trivia correctly. The question is, what Canadian city is known as Hollywood North. The clue, it's Ryan Reynolds' hometown. So email that answer to coco at 9news.com. That winner will be chosen as at random.